Alrighty, welcome everyone. I'm Tiabu here to report to you about what happened today in treasure hunting. Uh, it's week two Wednesday, whatever day that is of treasure hunting. Um, we had two returning shows that I decided to watch the second episode of, and one new show. And spoilers, both the returners were pretty good, and the new show was pretty not. So let's start with the returners. Uh, Dumbbell Nankilo Moteru uh, continues to live up to its promise of workouts with your waifus by introducing or at least giving us more depth and background on another waifu, uh, the girl who made fun of the main girl in episode one for, for being fat. Not made fun of her, but sort of prompted her to go to the gym. The one with the, the ponytail who's really fit and we see her in the intro. Um, she makes her sort of debut as a fitness person she's really into not arnold schwarzenegger movies they're pretty close though um and her family owns a boxing gym and so she's grown up around boxing and doing stuff like that um along with that we got some pretty fun moments we learned some new exercises lat pull downs and the plank this time and uh had some some fun moments with the uh the in gym protein bar and the the trainer guy dressed up like um magic mike dressed up like magic mike with the whole little collar thing and yeah it was it was pretty fun anyway the the show hasn't changed or dropped much in quality it's about the same kind of content as the first episode it's just keeping up with its premise and that's enjoyable to me um had a good time watching it will continue watching it not much more i need to say Girls continue to be cute, show continues to be entertaining, educational, and enjoyable, and cover lots of stuff about beginning fitness stuff that's uh, fun and important. So, continues to get a thumbs up from me. The second show that I watched is another returner. It is Kanata no Astra, uh, or Astra Lost in Space. The first episode was a two-parter or like a double feature 47 minute long monstrosity and did a pretty great job of, I think, introducing the world and the story and the characters and all that stuff. I was mostly curious as to where this is headed and what kind of story this is going to be and I kind of got my answer. It's it's all of the things that I was hoping it was going to be mashed together. I, I was wondering like, are we going to focus mostly on the characters and how they interact and the struggles that they go through with dealing each other trapped in this claustrophobic environment the spaceship? Yeah, we are. Are we going to uh, explore planets and see cool new environments and have to figure stuff out? Yeah, we are. Are we going to do both at the same time? Yep. Yeah, mostly. Mostly both at the same time. And that's pretty cool. Uh, we land at our first planet, go out, explore an interesting and kind of inventive environment with lots of crazy plants and animals and weird stuff. Um, get some more background on some of the characters. Uh, Phoenicia, who is... Shinobu Tan and her sister, uh, Kittery, Kettery, something like that, weird name, um, are something of the major focus of the episode. Uh, and then there's also some, some undercurrent stuff of like, there might be a saboteur among, among the group. They might not be able to trust each other. So, so there are lots of threads going on. This episode was particularly notable for me in that it, it did some pretty solidly executed setups and payoffs just in the course of the one story told over the course of this episode um lots of lots of little Chekhov's stuff that gets set up and then comes back later and you as the audience can figure out what would be useful in solving the issue of the episode um but it doesn't all click until the end and so it's it's really fun to go along with them and try and figure out what they're going to do to to solve the problems and hell even what situations and what problems they're going to get into um some really interesting stuff happened in this episode. I quite liked it. I will keep watching it. It continued to be fun and keep my attention. Um, art and design and stuff has not gone downhill. If anything, with the, the crazy plants and animals and stuff, um, it was almost better this episode than the last one. Maybe just because we got to explore more environments and and be with our, you know, we're more familiar with our characters. And there's less big, like, scene setting and universe building stuff eh, eh, eh. i don't know um i like the episode it was good i would recommend watching this show it's fun give it a shot last thing that i watched watched today which was the only new thing that aired today as far as i know um as far as what's come out and been available to me uh was uh uh Shit, I actually, I swear to God, I just forgot the name. I have it right here. Uh, ah, Isekai Cheat Magician. 
Swear to God, just forgot it. This is by Studio Encourage Films, who apparently did the OG Simpho gear and nothing else that I've ever heard of. Uh, directed by a guy who I've never heard of, but he's got a lot of experience as a unit director and, like, episode director. And the music is by the same guy who did the music for Hoseki no Kuni, so that was a, a little, like, oh, cool. Uh, wouldn't have wouldn't have been able to told, tell you that coming out of the end of this, this episode, because the music wasn't really striking or interesting, and now there was anything else in the episode. Um, oh, no! This is an East guy, and uh, that's about all I can say about it. It's 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 really bland. Um, I watched the whole thing, and if you if you decide to go and watch the reaction of it, at about like the six to seven minute mark, some really funny shit and some bad direction occurred, and at that point I was like, oh snap, okay, I guess I'll watch the whole thing just in case something absolutely hilarious happened. And then the rest of the episode was completely, like, middle of the road, absolute average, and I say it in that in the end discussion of the reaction, but the show manages to do that magical thing where it hits the precise sweet spot on the spectrum between laughably, hilariously, and enjoyably bad and genuinely enjoyably good. It hits that perfect sweet spot where it's it's bad enough that it's bad, but it's not bad enough to be fun or funny, and it's like competent enough to not be hilarious, but but bad enough to not be enjoyable, so it's just boring. I really didn't like this show, but I watched the whole episode, and I regret it. So, don't do what I did, don't watch the whole episode. There are a couple of funny things that happen in the beginning. A couple of just, just like... Just mediocrity. <laughs> Design work is fine... Barely. There are a few scenes of characters, like, running and just sort of, like, sliding across the frame. There are a couple of, of, of scenes that are, like, trying to do a thing, but then they execute the thing badly, so it doesn't work to do the thing that that scene and sequence that they, you know that they're trying to do. There's this sequence where a character or, like, an assassin is holding a sword up above a girl, right? And so... We get a shot from her perspective looking up at him swinging down and then there's you know how this shot works we cut away from that to anywhere else literally anything else and then we hear the shing noise and then we cut back and oh gosh what a big reveal the tension was we didn't know if the guy was going to swing the sword down or something else was going to happen and the reveal is somebody else stabbed him from behind instead we just hold the shot on him with the sword up and then he gets shinged from behind <laughs> And so there's no tension or, like, anything in the scene. It's just... <laughs> this wasn't good. It also wasn't the worst thing I've seen this season, but it wasn't good. Nothing to grab onto. I, I, I'm, I'm having trouble even, like, even talking about it right now because there's just, there's, there was just nothing to this show. If you love isekai trash, you might like this because that's what it is. Okay, so those are my thoughts on everything I watched today. This is going to be a much shorter one because we've got two repeats, so... We can just get those out of the way by saying like, yep, they're, they're continuing to do the thing that they did before. And one show that I'm having trouble even discussing because I can't even look at it and, and point out things that, that were bad or like that I didn't like because it, it all just sort of rolled off of me. <laughs> also, I kind of lost consciousness halfway through the episode. Uh, I, I think you'll see it around eight to ten minutes if you decide to watch the reaction. I'm, I, I'm like, wait, I just zoned out. It was stuff happening, but stuff wasn't happening. It sucked. Anyway, uh, uh, Dumbbell Waifus is still good. Kanata no Astra is still fun. Isekai Cheap Magician. To the dumpster with you. <laughs> All right, that's it for me. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.